feel like my lips look really overdrawn. They are. Sorry, Ren is always relevant. This is a hair. What am I? Why am I talking about this? This is a fucking empties video. <clears throat> Jenna. <clears throat> Hey guys, I think I like having background music without it being like voiceover. Today's video is going to be another empties video. I think it's going to be my third one and like a kind of empties mini review. And see, I don't go through products super fast, but like when I do, I go hard. <laughs> I'm just pulling out of this pile and it's all going to get thrown away. Um, before I get into that, this is going to be a long intro. I know I say that like in all my videos, but... I have some important things to say right now. So, first, um, let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a couple older videos, um, like pre-filmed ones. Like I have a haul with Kelsey from like a couple months ago that I never put up, but I feel like I want to. Um, if you, I haven't filmed it yet, but if you want to see a makeup collection video, I think I'm gonna do that soon um, because I'm either keeping the storage for a while or I might get a new ones soon. I don't know, but I have it finally a way that I like it. So yeah, and also the most important thing that I want to talk about is my second channel slash vlog channel. Now I'm going to do a whole video on there talking about it, but I just want to direct your attention to there right now because I know I said this in the past, like not that long ago that I was going to start vlogging again, but I really am. I'm going to start up that channel and try to vlog as much as I can. So I'm maybe if you guys are interested, go over there and subscribe. I think I'm going to start weekly vlogging if I can. Um, if not like every couple weeks and for like the events I go to like if you guys are interested and want to see more of that stuff and then if it If you guys like it, I will maybe put other videos in there besides vlogs Vlogs, vlogs, vlogs. Okay, let me know what you guys think, please and go over there and subscribe um, Around the same time this video is up the um, I'm filming the one for that channel on the same time So it's like an intro. I know I have a whole bunch of videos on that channel. It's gonna be linked down below I don't think I said that, but it's going to be linked down below, and I had a bunch of videos on the channel from like a couple years ago that I deleted, or I made private, so I'm kind of starting fresh with that channel, and I want you guys to be a part of it, so again, if you're interested, make sure you go subscribe to there, and yeah, I think it'll be fun, and I finally have my situation, situation together with all that, so I think I'm going to do that, so go over there and do that, I think that'd be really cool if you guys were subscribed to there, so... I'm actually gonna start with the video. Sorry, I have like a thing of cotton rounds. There's not really much to say about this. Just yeah, they worked. Okay, this is not gonna come as a shock to any of you. Um, I think this is like an annual empties video thing where I have I can get them all. Ten thousand Neutrogena <laughs> makeup remover. I'm on. Okay, this is six, and I probably threw some of them away. I go through these like a bitch. Like these are my jam. I'm trying to start like taking care of my skin better so I'm using things that aren't as harsh on my skin as wipes. Like I pull my skin but I'm using like a cleansing water. But I'll let you guys know when I think of that. But still tried and true favorite makeup wipe. Do you like my hair? Oh, I just, it was gross so I threw it up into this. This is something I've never been in a video. I, it's taking me so long to go through, it, through this. This is my MAC brush cleanser. I like, I deep cleaned my brushes uh, like last week, week before that, which I haven't done in a while. And I finished the last of this up, so it was good. Um, I think I'm going to check out the Clinique one I heard is good, or maybe use baby shampoo. I don't know. I don't clean my brushes all that much, so yeah. But this, I have, I've had this for so long. I finally got through it. Um, another... L'Oreal Power Moisture. You guys know I love this. It's my like favorite, I must say concealer. Um, what is this? Conditioner? Yeah. Um, I'm working on another one right now. And this Pantene. I have a lot of hair products. It's like an always thing. Uh, but yeah. A Pantene Color Preserve Volume type of thing. It's a shampoo. <laughs> yeah. This is good. Um, I probably will buy it again once I, I couldn't find it. When I ran out of this to go get my other one, so I'm using a Garnier one, I believe. So if I can find this next time, I did like it. Um, it's a color protecting. Yeah. Oh, speaking of color, um, I'm sorry, I'm way all over the place. This shouldn't be news. That's how I am. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do a what 
all about my hair video if you want to see that I had one of those like two years ago and I made it private I made a lot of my old videos private but if you want to see an updated one because I have dyed my hair a few times so you know um, and chopped it off obviously if you've been watching me for a while you know that but anyway if you want to see it all about my hair video I'll do that all right more makeup remover um Maybelline Clean Express this is like another thing that I really like to use for when I need to touch up like quick remove stuff you know and if any of my mascara is left over that kind of stuff um yeah this is a good cheap makeup remover oh this is a random one the a deodorant um this might be a little bit of too much information for some of you but I sweat a lot so I use the I like to use like the strong deodorants and this I mean whatever it worked for like an hour but like I know this is gross but everyone like has BO so like it doesn't really help that much um if anyone <coughs> Jenna <coughs> has a similar situation to me and have like a good strong deodorant I heard using guys deodorant is good um let me know what you think I feel like I, whenever I say let me know, nobody ever does. It would really help me if I got feedback and responses. I asked for a reason, guys. Well, Olay Advanced Rubbing Soothing Cream Advanced Moisture Body Wash. Wow. Um, shout out to Emma Copen for this one. She, I bought this because it can't. It smells, yeah, she freaking sprayed it on me in the shower. Oh, it's all, I think that's mold. Yeah, it smells amazing besides the mold on the lid because it's been sitting in there for a really long time. I gotta throw this away. Ew. Because it's wet. I usually throw stuff in there right from the shower when I finish it. That's gross. That smells amazing and I like it. It's kind of moisturizing, but just, I'm not really particular about my body wash. Um, a random nail polish remover, non acetone because, you know, my acrylics, on the occasion that I paint my nails, I use this. Um, it's just any old one that's not really anything to talk about. It's just from, I think this is like, I don't even know. It's a, Store brand one, off brand. Pretty nails. I don't know what it's from. I'm really throwing these onto the ground. Okay. Another body product that I'm kind of like. Mm, this is a body shop exfoliator. I like the smell of this. I think I have another one. It like it works, but it also doesn't. I have another one that works better. That may or may not have broken me out, but I don't know. This just there's a lot left in here, and I'm throwing it away because it got it got gross. It smells gross. It's like rotten. So yeah, this is also like a product I'm throwing away. So if that were to happen, you know, like with makeup, it's an empties end product and trash, you know? Yeah, I don't really super, super recommend that stuff. I do recommend this, I, I haven't been able to find it. I hope they didn't discontinue it. It's the Batiste Dry Shampoo in the Sassy and Daring Wild one. This is my favorite. I have another one, the cherries, the one with the cherries on it. And it leaves like a white thing in my hair, like the white powder, but this doesn't. And this is like volumizing, so I really need to find this again. And I've, this has been empty for a while, but yeah. Love that. This is the Olay Fresh Effects Long Live Moisture Have Moisturizer thingy. I hope they didn't discontinue it because I love it. It's really great. Um, pretty much, I talked about it before. Don't feel like talking about it again because it's redundant, so this stuff is good. <laughs> this is another hair product. I always seem to have a million of these. And this might be the second one I've gone through, the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat. I love this. I have a full size of it um, now. I had a few mini ones. I have a full size one because I can't live without it. I, it's the only product I use when I get out of the shower. And it just it does everything. It, sh it detangles, which is the main reason why I love it. Um, it doesn't, well, my hair, I just, I don't, I don't really care most of the time. So unless I'm going somewhere, I'm just going to use this. And it's just like that product that, you know, like, it, it's better than having nothing, but it doesn't make my hair like, whoa. But it adds a little bit of shine, I feel like. It kind of helps with the frizz. I feel like my hair has become less frizzy because of this stuff. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's because it's shorter. But this is a really good product. I use it. I spray it on my hair right after I get out of the shower. Then I brush my hair and just, like, you know, go on with my life. Another Essence little eyebrow pencil. Oh, my God. It's dusty. It's been here for so long. Um, It's as tiny as it can be. You guys know, this is just my OG pencil for when I want to just quickly do it. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I've had this mascara for so long and I finally ran out of it. It's the Colossal by Maybelline and this is a waterproof one. It's just a really good mascara and I like it for when I want to wear waterproof mascara because it's good. Well, I did repurchase it 
and I thought it Okay, Jessie's Girl Liner. This is the last thing. I'm so sad about this. I got this in eye I mats, and it like just dried out. Like the tip like flaked off, and even if I shake it, nothing comes out. So it, it just dried out, which is really sad because it was such a good liner. But an alternative is the Physicians Formula. I love that one. But yeah, that that's just unusable. So those are the things that I went through. I finished up and a couple things I'm going to throw away. And I'm, I'm going to go through this thingy, not go through the whole thing, but I'm throwing away some things and I just wanted to show you them and tell you why I'm getting rid of them, I guess. The main reason I'm getting rid of the, these things is because I don't use them. Not because I don't like them. It's just they're not even empties. Some of them are. Okay. Actually, this should have gone in empty. Sephora Glitter Liner. I'm, prob I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm just going to say I used to use this in like 7th grade and it's been dried out. That's getting thrown away. This Rimmel Day to Night, it's just dried out. Should have gone in my empties. I, f I forgot when I was cleaning out my stuff, but yeah, this is just dried out. Um, nothing really much to say about that. It's just a mascara. Okay, this, I don't know how the hell I bought it because it was probably, I probably bought it because it was $3. You know how those fiber mascaras, they have like the mascara and then the thing that's fibers? This is literally a jar of fibers. I don't know how you would use this without ruining any mascaras. Um, and it's from Essence. It was like really cheap. And I never used it. So I'm throwing it away because, I mean, this is fucking a jar of little cotton fibery things. That's stupid. Um, there's this Clinique blush that I think my friend gave to me in like 8th grade. And I just never used it. And it's also like... You know how it's, I feel like it was old to begin with, and when makeup like is old, it, the blushes get all like, I don't know how to explain it, but it basically, there's no color that comes out, so like, I, I go like this, and it's like a little bit of color, but it doesn't pick up with a brush, it's like solid kinda, if that makes any sense, but yeah, I'm throwing that away. Um, this Essence eyeliner pen, this is an empty, um, actually no, it's, all, it's actually not an empty. I just, I don't know why I'm throwing away. I guess because I never use it, and it's just, the end is too thick to really do anything with, and I just, um, I do like this, but this one is just kind of weird, so I'm getting rid of it. I, I'm getting rid of this because I used it, and I have another one. Um, I bought two of these somehow. It's the e.l.f. Eyeliner Shadow and Stick Duo thingy. This one is the one I've used. I just never use it, so I'm throwing it away. Um, also this NYC pencil. It doesn't, it literally has no color. It's like dried out. I used to use it like a while ago. There's a trick where you like put it into a liquid liner, like a pencil, and used it. I mean, not liquid, gel, like a pot, and it would help you apply it. And I used that, but then it just like died. <laughs> and I have this Yabby concealer from a glam bag that's in this shitty packaging thing that it just made it dried out, dry out, and there's a lot left, but I can't really do anything with it because it's really like dried out and like hard to blend. Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. I got a Clinique version of this. I wanted a high-end one, and it was the cheapest one because I'm cheap. But yeah, this is just completely dried out. There's a whole bunch left in here, but it, I never used it, so I don't really care. Okay, two more things. This random shit that Jenna gave me. I don't know, it's just a concealer um, in a pot that I don't ever use, and I feel like it's just not my color, and I don't know. She gave it to me, and then bye. Sorry, Jen. Last thing, this is a L'Oreal Magic Smooth Souffle. This was like on sale. I don't even know if this is a real thing because I got it in like clearance at Ulta. Um, I used it like a few times, mostly just to play. I don't like this kind of foundation that much. It's not really my, it's really orange and nobody's gonna like, it's, it's really bulky and takes up space. So bye bye, that's it. That is it for this video. It was probably really long. So yeah, if you're new here, subscribe for new videos and head over to my second channel and subscribe there. There might not be any videos by the time you see this, but I'm about to film one for that channel. So yeah, I hope you guys liked. Thumbs up if you did. Just let me know what you want to see next. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Bye. I don't know what I'm doing. Bye.